Ever since my wedding, I feel like mirror signs have become my thing, so I decided to make one for my baby shower using my Cricut, of course. I'm using vinyl from my craft stores. It's the only place I trust for vinyl. I'm getting my board out. I'm using a 12 by 24 and just laying out the vinyl. I got this out the garage, so it was a little crinkly, but all in all, it worked. Now I'm just cutting off the excess so I can put that away because I don't need it. Um, I always do a little bit more than the board just in case so I have extra room for error and then I'm smoothing everything out and now I'm going into my Cricut software to pull up my design. I designed this on Canva and then just uploaded it to Cricut and then I just kind of adjust the spacing on the mat so it's not all crammed up. Um, I always put my settings on cardstock and more pressure when I cut I just feel like it yields the best results um when kind of when cutting vinyl on my Cricut and then I just let it do its thing it really didn't take that long to cut everything out then I get my weeding tool so I can weed out all the extra details and all that stuff I have a pumpkin um for my O to say O baby for my sign and I'll just weed out the rest of the letters and then get my transfer tape out and apply apply that for this first one i put the transfer tape on top of the vinyl and peeled the words off um instead of just peeling off the excess vinyl and then taking the words off it it was just easier for this bigger text for me to do that and it came out nice and then like i said for this one these are our names and i just peeled off the excess vinyl to leave our names because it was just easier for that piece now I'm getting my mirror. I got this mirror from Walmart for like $40. It was a steal. I'm cleaning it off, getting my surface ready so the vinyl can stick very nicely. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball where I'm placing this. Um, if I really wanted to be precise, I would get a ruler or something and map it all out, but I didn't have time. I literally did this the night before our baby shower. So I just went ahead and Freehanded, and of course Leo had to give his two cents and be a part of the project. Um, but yeah, I'm just going and continuing to add my vinyl to the mirror. Like I said, I'm just eyeballing it with the spacing and everything. I've done this a few times, so I feel like I'm pretty good with that. And then I'm just peeling off the transfer tape, so it's just leaving the words and it's starting to look really, really good. I think mirror signs are such a cute idea when it comes to parties and events because you or your guests can take selfies in the mirror and everything and it always looks really nice and I always get a lot of compliments when I do these mirrors. I did one for my wedding, my sister's wedding, and now our baby shower. So this was the last part, the last text, and I put it on, peeled it off, and then I go ahead and clean the mirror one more good time before it's all done. And these are the finished results. I really, really love the way it turned out.